Hey guys, I recently stumbled across a new web browser. It's super secure, it's super fast, and I figured maybe it's something you guys want to look into. So stick around and see exactly what I am talking about in this video. The World of Snark. Alright guys, so I recently discovered the new web browser called Brave. Um, it's a really interesting new and secure web browser that I found through Reddit um, Just through digging around seeing what uh, people use, you know They're always up on the latest tech and software and this one kept popping up. I didn't really know what it was all about uh, Then I finally decided to give it a try and wow what a world of difference It is now my default web browser. So if you've never heard of it before I'm gonna dig in and go to their homepage and just give you an idea of what it is. So Brave Web, oh I can't spell, browser. All right, so here we go. Uh, I'll just give a brief little overview of what Brave really is. I mean, you can see right now, it's this really nice sleek uh, look to it. You can see it's even on mobile. Uh, so the private web browsing made uh, that others offer, not truly private. Brave is the new, pri new privacy web browser. Um, from the inventor of JavaScript and co-founder of Mozilla, has built an app blocker to give you the fastest browsing experience, and it provides a deep level of security and privacy protection. Um, so this is all true in my experience so far using it. I've used it a little over a week now. Uh, it's been great. Um, there's a lot of great things uh, that it does. So it does offer a lot of different shields and ad blocking features. Um, and they're also rolling out um, opt-in ads, and um, I'll touch on that in a little bit, but it's basically you can opt into viewing some uh, really tailored advertisements if you want to. Um, but I mean, the reason I like this browser, it's, it's super quick, it's super sleek, uh, you can put it on mobile, it syncs across mobile, and it actually is built on Chromium. So if you're unfamiliar with that, you know Google Chrome. Uh, so the reason they call it Google Chrome is because it is built on the open source project Chromium, um, which you can add Chrome plugins right to the Brave browser and they behave the same as they would on Google Chrome. So don't think, you know, if I get a new browser, all my stuff is lost, why would I do that? Uh, pretty much anything you had on Google Chrome, you can import directly into Brave. So any sort of passwords and stuff like that, um, you're allowed to save locally. Um, in your Brave browser. So again, that's not data that they're going to use and sell and all that fun stuff. It's saved locally in your browser to help you autofill passwords and different stuff like that. Um, so you can see I already have a few extensions added, um, which is nice. It was a nice transition. Uh, it didn't take much to set up. All my bookmarks came over and all that. Um, so I'm going to open a new tab and show you some of the cool things. Uh, so it keeps, you know, like your most recent tabs that you've been using. Um, but also it sort of has some cool statistics so so far since I've been using it 1,351 trackers have been blocked almost 2,000 advertisements have been blocked um, HTTPS upgrades 19 um, so just optimizing web pages estimated time saved uh, so I know this is going to grow over time but you know it estimates about three minutes of time has been saved uh, just because it's a lot quicker there's nothing bloaty um, Nice home screen has this, uh, cool pictures it rotates through. So overall, just a really nice clean web browsing experience. Um, I'm, I'm really happy with that, I like what I've seen so far. Uh, they have the regular web browser down here, it's the, the orange icon. Sorry, my dog's, uh, dog's a little itchy again like she was in the last video. Uh, but as I was saying, again they have the orange little lion head down there. Uh, but they're also, if you look here, there is a dev version, which it's a little more unstable, uh, but there are some cool features they're testing out on there um, that aren't completely live yet. So, I mean, it's something to look look into if you're interested in that. Um, but as far as the regular browser goes, you know, it's, it's pretty functional, pretty stable. I haven't had any issues yet. I haven't come across any web pages that don't work. But... Uh, I'm not just here to sort of brag about this web browser. There is a feature that I think you guys may find useful, especially if you're a content creator on YouTube or maybe even uh, Twitch or your own website that the Brave browser can sort of help you with. 
Um, so let me just show you what that is. Brave content creator. Uh, da, 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 da. All right. So brave creators. So we've tried everything to get paid. Okay. So um, I've already signed up for this with my YouTube. Basically what this is, it's almost like a plugin for the Brave browser that allows you to either um, receive payment or give payment to some of your favorite content creators. The caveat is it is not actual currency, so to speak. This is based on duh, 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 blockchain and uh, crypto. So there is a cryptocurrency that I've just now been reading about, digging into and trying to understand called BAT. It was called the Basic Attention Token. Um, and it is a way that you can either get paid or pay um, your fellow content creators. Um, so if you're not familiar with blockchain and crypto, fear not because neither am I. I honestly have no idea how it works, why it works. Um, I just know that it does. A lot of people use it, use it for payments online for digital products. And now, you know, that barrier on YouTube where you can't really get monetized until over a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time has sort of been knocked down. All you need to do is just verify your page with this um, content creator uh, aspect of Brave. So the gist of it is, you know, you've got your basic attention tokens, the BAT cryptocurrency. You have them in your little digital wallet, so to speak. They're worth about, I, I want to say right now, like 20 cents per BAT token. Um, I typically try to earn mine online through doing other like various things like surveys, watching videos, um, viewing advertisements. Um, so I, I get them that way and then I would be able to share them to some of my favorite content creators. Uh, that way they get compensation or support for the content they are creating. So that, that's pretty cool. Um, you know, I haven't come across a platform that does that. Um, you know, my channel is based on, you know, investing, wealth building. Um, so the fact that I can use a, now a cryptocurrency, sort of build wealth that way, and get involved with the crypto market, the, the blockchain uh, industry, so to speak, is pretty interesting. I, I'm not gonna invest in tokens right now. I'm gonna sort of learn what I can do with them, how they operate, how I can collect them. I just know it is something that Brave has rolled out and that I'm going to take part in. I, I want to grow with the community. I want to see how it works and just see how it performs. So um, that's a little bit of incentive to try this out. You know, you've already got the Brave browser and if you're a content creator, why not go ahead and try and um, get, mo uh, get some compensation for it. Uh, so just something to think about. There is a referral link I will include in the description of this video. You can use it. I don't necess I don't really know what it does. You know, it may give you some uh, BAT tokens uh, should you use it and continue to use the Bra uh, the Brave browser. Um, I haven't had anyone use it yet. I don't think there's any downside to using a referral link. Um, I'm I'm not just saying that to kind of be modest. Or or humble, um, I literally don't know. Uh, maybe I get some sort of benefit, maybe you do, I don't know. Either way, you might as well click the link if you're interested in downloading and trying this browser. So, uh, with that being said guys, you know, it's something cool to look into. Um, this was a very brief overview. You know, I gave you the basic links and pages to check out. You can dig into and do some research yourself. Um, that way you're more informed on it and you're not just basing your opinion or decisions off of me, uh, someone who is not that into blockchain or crypto yet. So make your own decisions with it. Um, but yeah, I wanted to get that out there for you guys, show you what I've been using. Um, and I figured I need to get a, a video out there before this weekend um, because it's been a while since I've produced one. So hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully it opened your eyes to a new web browser. Hopefully you have a new an awesome, secure, fast browsing experience. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you're already using Brave. Let me know if you are already using the BAT token system. Uh, let me know all that stuff because I'm interested. I want to talk about it. But as always, thanks guys, and I will catch you in the next video.